feels really embarrassing. Don't use that. Hey guys, welcome back to another Gimpy's Gal Guesses. This is a lot. If you can see, it's like, like hiding me behind all these boxes that apparently are one game. Um, so yeah, welcome back. I'm Gimpy's Gal. If you're new, um, this started off as me just trying to guess how some of my husband Gimpy's games that he reviews and plays through how they're played without reading the rule book. It's fun. Um, but I've been doing it for a while, so it's kind of turned into a guesses slash unboxing because I kind of go through all the contents. I do sometimes give a guess, um, but I do know a little more about games, war games specifically than I did when I started this, but I still would never be able to just learn how to play um, just because I know more terminology or components or things to look for. I still promise you, if you sat down and said, I will give you a million dollars if you figure out how to play this game, it would take me a very long time if I could even figure it out. So that being said, um, welcome back. And if you're not um, subscribed and you enjoy my videos or my husband's videos or our videos together, then subscribe. That's a very easy and free way you can help him. Um, if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up at the end. You don't have to do it now because you haven't seen much yet. So at the end, if you enjoyed this, then give it a thumbs up um, and comment down below um, if you think I got my guess right. And we're gonna jump into it. So this is, like I said, this is a lot. So I'm guessing this big box is where I'm supposed to start. He said there's something on the box that kind of gives it away. Um, so I'm gonna kind of, oh, this is so heavy, kind of meander through the boxes a little more in detail because I'm supposed to be looking for some clue. It says, Company of Heroes board game. Um, this box is ginormous. I'm gonna scoot these out of the way for just a little bit while we focus on the big boy here. Um, so that is the top of the box. It's really heavy and really big. All the sides, like they just say the same thing. Let's try to flip it over if we can and look at the back. Ooh, Company of Heroes board game. We have the war has come to your table. I have to prop myself up to see because this one is so big that I can't read it from sitting. Um, the war has come to your table. This board game port captures the strategy, choices, and fun of the beloved video games. So. I was thinking when I looked at the front of it, I'll sit down, that it looked like um, Call of Duty-ish. So I don't know, I guess maybe there's another game called Company of Heroes. So maybe Company of Heroes is its own video game and this is the board game version. But when I looked at the front of it, I got a very um, Call of Duty feel from it. Um, it says play turn-based or in real time. Play how you want to with multiple play modes. Over a dozen maps, multiple scenarios, and victory objectives, the Company of Heroes board game is a unique mid-weight strategy game combining tactical squad combat with resource management. Voila. Um, now, Sega's on here, so I'm guessing that's the thing, is it's a video game. Um, it says Sega, Relic Entertainment, Bad Crow Games. So I'm guessing Bad Crow Games is the publisher Sega is maybe who created the, or who sells Company of Heroes and Relic Entertainment. Maybe they have something to do with the video game side of it as well. Not sure, it's just a guess. Uh, it does say two to four players, 14 and up, one to two hour playtime. And then let's look at the contents here. We have 116 infantry, 30 weapons teams, 24 light vehicles, 26 heavy vehicles, 24 infantry trays, 66 dice, 156 cubes, 12 building boards. I thought the last one had a lot of stuff in it. This one takes the cake. Um, 12 building boards, 20 commander cards, six vehicle trays, 64 tokens, four double layered HQ boards, four huge interchangeable maps, one rule book and one missions booklet. Um, and then it says play six custom component trays plus six custom component trays to secure your miniatures. So that is the box. Now we're gonna open it up and there are one, two, three, five other boxes to open. So this might be a long one. Grab a snap, settle in. Let's take this big daddy lid off. I mean, this thing is massive. Look at that. And it's like overflowing. 
Okay, so we have all of this on the top. This is the basic rules. In case you were wondering, it, it emphasizes basic up here. So the basic rules, it's 19 pages. We have basic icons reference on the back, which is cool. And then here is what the basic rule book looks like. It is color. There you go. Then we have the advanced rules. Again, in case you were confused, advanced at the top here. <laughs> This one is only seven pages. We have another icons reference, the advanced version on the back. Um, yeah, this one's very tiny. So that's cool that there's a basic and the advanced. So you can start off with basic and move on to advanced when you're ready. Um, then we have this, which says the mission booklet, Company of Heroes board game, which is 28 pages. So this must just contain all of the missions or I guess like other games call them scenarios. Whatever you want to call them, this is the missions booklet. And then we have a couple sheets of stickers here. I've seen this in some other games. I know it does save a ton of money with um, production to have stickers printed sometimes instead of putting them on whatever they go on. Um, if you like that, that's then this would be nice for you. Like that's relaxing, putting them on and stuff. But there's a lot of these in there. Some of them are teeny tiny, but this is one sheet of stickers. These are like, almost like they would glow in the dark. They're just so light. So I don't know if there's something to this, if they actually do glow in the dark or if they're just super light. Maybe when you take them off with this yellow backing, they look different. Um, again, I would choose different colors, but that's just me. Like these star ones over here. I could do a lot of fun art projects with my kids with these stars, but I don't think Gimby would be very happy if we use these. We gotta keep these stickers up. My kids love sticking stickers on everything. And there's the second sheet of stickers. Let's see upside down. So like these are all symbols. We have the stars, the crosses, these little bullseye doodaddy things, a different kind of a cross. And then these are like sheriff looking stars on this very, very light side. And then we have some more shapes. We have, I can't even see these at the top because they're so light and again, I don't know if they glow in the dark or if it's just the yellow is making that color seem invisible. And when you take it off, it becomes more clear with whatever you're putting it on. But it'd be cool if it glowed in the dark, right? And then we have some shapes, some triangles, number fives, uh, foreign languages, and just a bunch of different words and numbers that mean nothing to me, but are very important, obviously. So that is the second sheet of stickers. And then this is caring for your new miniature collection. So this is how you take care of your new pet miniatures. <laughs> Just kidding. But actually this is kind of cool. I haven't seen this before. So I guess as with anything, as you use it over time, it can become um, like damaged or wilted or become bent or warped. And this tells you how to fix it. So it says some vehicle turrets have been known to occasionally bend during shipment. If some of your combat vehicles have been bent during their journey, HQ has provided a simple solution to correct the turrets and it gives you a step-by-step -step how to fix them. So if, and we'll look at them here in a second, if yours arrived to you bent, they tell you how to fix it and it's just three steps, few seconds or few minutes and they're good. So here is how to craft your miniatures appearance. Um, painting it is really up to you. That's the cool thing about miniature games I have seen with Gimpy over the years, the many, many, many that he has played, I've noticed that the cool thing to me that intrigues me about miniatures, not only is it that they're cute and adorable and they're tiny, but that you can paint them however you want to. You can customize them. So no two have to be the same. Um, and I've had a lot of fun painting some miniatures with some of his other games. Um, these he paints more realistic because it's a war game. So he likes to be a little more realistic with them. But theoretically, I could paint these pink or purple or sparkly or my daughter likes yellow, blue, green. Um, our second youngest, Kinsley, uh, is daddy's little buddy. And I forget what they're talking about, but she was saying the colors and it came out yellow, 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 green like one color, yellow, blue, green, but all slurred together. So we could paint them yellow, blue, green for her. Um, but he will paint them more historically accurate. But if you wanted to go crazy with them, that's the cool thing about miniatures that come unpainted is you can 
you can customize them. And on the back, there is a painting guide. I guess you just scan this and it kind of tells you maybe what paints they use, maybe what brands, what colors, where they use them, blah, blah, blah. Arata, Arata, I don't know what that means. Um, the only known Arata or Arata at the time of printing is the typo in the book of the building boards. That reference moving into buildings, other errata that are discovered will be posted online. So I guess maybe that means a mistake. I've never heard that word before. Um, correct building roles are listed here. And then at the bottom, a thank you. So that's pretty cool that they knew there was a, an error after they had produced it, but before they sent it out. So instead of having, because I mean, think about how much money that would be for a typo, for one typo to like redo the whole thing. That's so much money. It's a lot more cost effective for them to print something like this and say, hey, we made a mistake. Here's the correction. And it's right in front of your face when you open the box. So you don't have to go through the rules and then play the game and then find this later on and realize you made a mistake. They tell you right up front, there's a mistake and here's how you fix it. So that's really, really cool. So that is the like how to quick little caring guide for your miniatures for painting and the, the rules that were messed up in the book or in the rule book. All right, so there's a lot to unpack here. Now, a lot of this is trays and miniatures, I'm assuming in this box, because it said there's like a whole bunch of trays of miniatures. And I will say, I felt one of these earlier, he had one out. They feel very heavy. A lot of times I have seen miniatures come in some of his games. Um, I'm not naming specific companies because I couldn't, even if I wanted to. <laughs> but some of them aren't very well made. And these are very, very heavy. I wish you could feel them through the, the camera, how sturdy they are. Um, they are so sturdy and like it, this moves, like that is, that's cool. So these are very detailed and very cool. If you can see all the details, even on the bottom, like you're not even looking at the bottom of it, but there's little ridges and they're so detailed. So these would be fun to paint. I might have to help him paint these cause these are so cool. So, and here are people. So there's like some sold little mini army guys or military guys in here. Honey, I only said army because that's what most people call the little green guys that kids play with. They usually call them army men. So it's nothing against Marines. Marines are my favorite, obviously, but that's just what most people refer to these as. But that's there. It's little, little soldiers and troops in here. Two bags of those. And this is cute. There's a little section over here. Uh, maybe to store these guys in. I don't know. It looks like they might fit right down in there. Yeah, they do. How cute is that? Oh my gosh. I could just sit here and do this. Look how, look how cute that is. They fit right down in there. So that's really cool. They're very organized. This game is. So there's that. Let's pull this tray out because I don't know how many more trays of things are in here, but this one is looking like an intense game. So I'm going to look at these trays first, then I'll look at this stuff before we pack it back in. And I, like I said, this is going to be a long one because there's so much stuff. And it's all so interesting. So some more tanks. These are a different color. Again, I don't think it really matters because you're going to paint them, but it's so you know starting off, like before you paint them, if they all came as gray, maybe it'd be hard for you to determine which tank went with which side or which team. This will help you know that starting off, these are with this team, and then you can paint that whole team whatever color you want to. But these are like chocolatey brown. Again, look at the detail on the like on the tires. These are really good quality, really good quality. And there's a number on the bottom. And then we have some more guys here in this little baggie. Some soldiers and troops, various fighting men, and another cute little storage area for them to plop down in perfectly. Love that. And then we have more trays. So here's another one with tanks. These are like a mustard brownish kind of color on the bottom. We have Churchill, but again, the detail. I wish like if you have this game or if you're thinking of getting it, you'll see the detail in it when you get your hands on them and feel the quality of them. But these, I'm telling you, these are like some of the best miniatures I've ever felt that have come in the game. Some more guys here. And again, the storage tray has their, um, I hope I've been in frame, has the little spots for them to go into. So that's really cool. And then another tray of the miniatures. Let's put this right here. Just here. These are gray. 
it says tiger on the bottom of it. Again, with the detail, I can't even explain it through the camera. This one has some little cute cars in it. Oh my God, those are so cute. Bradley would go crazy for those. And my daughter McKenna would go crazy for all these little guys. She just likes to collect lots of things that are the same. So this would make her day. Um, but yeah, some more guys. And then again, the cute little space to keep the guys in. It's all very well organized, which as many of you who have seen my videos before know, organization makes me very happy. So that pleases me. Then we have a few more tray or another tray and then it looks like boards on the bottom here. So this last tray is again, another really cool storage tray. Everything has its perfect and right place. And I love that. And it all has the Company of Heroes logo on the front of it. Um, we have some, what are these called? Time sand, what are these called? All I think of when I see this is as the world turns. Isn't that the name of like a soap opera or something? I don't know, I'm not a soap opera girl, but I, as the world turns or something, days of our lives or something like that. That's what this reminds me of. But this is an hourglass, an hourglass. So here we have two hourglass, hourglasses. Um, these look like stands for something. The rubber band together, I'm not gonna take them apart, but they have like a little square that looks like these little guys would fit right here. And then maybe the tank goes here. Um, so that's cool. There's a few of those that fit perfectly in there. There are this little bag of colorful cubes, which we know makes me happy. And they're see-through and shiny and very colorful. So yay. We have some dice here, which is, there's going to be lots of them. Because remember, there was like 160-something dice. So here is a pack of 1, 2, 3, 12, uh, six-sided. Yeah, they're just like little mini ones. And then over here... These are more like custom for the game. We have like shields and stars and plumes of smoke and military symbols and people and targets, all different things on them, flags. So there's two bags of those. And then down here we have this pack of white dice that has guys, different things happening to them, a heart, fire. So it probably has to do with attacks and health and that kind of thing. Then we have a bunch of blank ones, which I'm assuming those stickers we saw earlier would go on, right? Some orange ones, which that's a cool color. I've never seen anything this color um, in a war game before, so I like that. So there's two bags of these little orange dice. I think these are dice. The stickers would go on. And then two bags of white dice that are the same thing. So there's that. Again, everything has its perfect place. Um, we have some... Looks like guns um, that are like on the ground, like the big machine guns that you like, you know, about. Um, I wish I could think of the game. There's a game that we used to play on like the Xbox. It's like a super old game, but you just had like turrets on each end and you just try to kill all the guys on the other side. Maybe you can, they can think of the name of it, but it was a cute little like old school, old graphics game, but it was a lot of fun. But that's what these look like. So it's like a turret, I think, or a machine gun, or I don't know what it's called, but it's this. So like it sits on the ground and then someone stands like back here and fires it and shoots whatever from the front of it. But that's really cool. There's a bag of those. This is gonna take me forever. Uh, another bag of different guns, different weapons here. I'm gonna kind of start going a little faster cause I do have to put my kids to bed and it is like already nine o'clock and they go to bed at 8.30. So I'm gonna go a little faster cause I'm moving a little slow here. All right, back to this. These are the boards. I'm not gonna open these because there's a bunch of these. And how many did it say there were? Um, let me look really quick. 12 building boards, four, or four huge interchangeable maps. I don't know if that's what these are or not, but there are one, two, three, four of these. So they might be the interchangeable maps. Um, again, they fit perfectly down in here, but here's just an example of one of them. Again, not gonna open it, but there's like houses and there's huge movement spaces, whatever you call those. And there's two that look like this kind of terrain and then two that look like this wintry, watery kind. So there's the last one down in the box, hopefully you can see it. And then this one looks like it's water or ice or both. So those I'm guessing are the maps that you can change out. So we'll stick this back in here, kind of pack everything back in before we move on to the next 
bunch of things. The boxes tear in here was already doing that. There's so much stuff in this box that it's literally busting at the seams. All right, I'll put these back. Everything just fits so neatly that I don't want to mess it up by putting it back right away. And I think these just were on top of that. Or maybe they were under that. I don't know. Anyways, we'll scoot that out of the way for now. Okay, so we have some boards here. These look like they are telling you about specific people or headquarters. This says British headquarters. It has some different stats on it. Platoon command post, company command post, uh, Wehrmacht headquarters, Panzengrenader or company. Panzer Corp, U.S. Headquarters, Company Command Post, Battalion Command Post, Soviet Headquarters, Support Company, and Armor Company. <laughs> so um, I know German is in here, British is in here, uh, U.S. is in here, and I hate guessing as I always guess wrong. I think that's, yeah, Soviets, duh. It says it right here, Soviets and the Soviets. So those, that's the who. With my guesses, I usually do who, when, and where. So the who is right there. British, German, Soviets, and U.S. Um, and these are just like little informational player aid type cards for when you're playing as those people. You know, like it has health, range, attack, bonus, and cost on it. Forward placement, universal carrier, and infantry section. And then the back has like defense matrix on it with some numbers. So those are like player... A type cards. These are the commander cards. So we have like, just to give you an example, again, I'm trying to move a little quicker because this one will take hours if I go through every teeny tiny little piece. Um, and then we have some big giant counters. We have like machine gun bunker, some numbers down here at the bottom, 1A, 1B, 2A, 2B. Then some like other counters here. <laughs> Don't know what they are. They look like kites, but they're not. This one's like a flag on a tree or something. And these look like terrain placement things that kind of get in the way of, of you moving through the map. So that's what that is. And then some more, there's like some more cards. These are cool because it looks like they have an indent for like your counters to go. And the quality of this stuff I'm telling you guys is top notch. Like this right here, I'm glad I'm getting this out because this is not cardboard. This is plastic, shiny, hard plastic, if you've seen me, girls. And this looks like it has a place for your commander card here, your experience, whatever here. And then these are like indented in, so maybe tokens fit in here or dice, those little cubes. I think those would probably fit perfectly in there. And this looks like a place for maybe your guys to go, just a guess, but these are really, really cool. And there are a bunch of those. There's what, four of them? Yeah, four of these. So that's really cool and the quality is just, unbelievable so that's everything that was just in the first box now i don't know usually when it comes like this the the other ones are expansions so i can't say for certain he didn't tell me that much um so i'm gonna guess that they're expansion packs that you can get separately but if this is all one game holy moly that's a lot of stuff but that's the first box so i don't know if i'm supposed to guess I mean, it said it on the, the back of the box, what the, the purpose of this, I gotta do it like this so it'll close because that side is bulging out. Okay. All right, let me look at the back again so I can give you my guess, my uneducated guess, which is totally educated because I'm reading it right here. Play how you want to with multiplay modes over a dozen maps, multiple scenarios, and victory objectives. The Company of Heroes board game is a unique mid-weight strategy game combining tactical squad combat with resource management. Um, so yeah, that's what this is. Um, I'm guessing this is just one game, and then these are all things you can get to add on to it. It's just my guess. I already guessed the when, or the, the who, and this is how you play uh, World War II, I'm assuming. That's what it looks like on the front here. But again, I believe it's based off of a video game. That's what my guess so far is. So let's move on to all these little boxes here. So I'm gonna start with the teeny ones because we went from big giant daddy to teeny tiny little babies. So we have Eastern reinforcements. Um, so we have some more cards. These are Eastern reinforcement cards. 
Looks like these are expansions. These two are. They come with a couple of tanks and a few guys in this cute little box. So again, the quality of these tanks is insane. I so wish we had Philo Vision so you could feel these because they're just oh, so incredible. And then you get a few cards to go with it. So that is the Eastern Reinforcements expansion, I'm guessing. This is the Stug Assault Pack, Company of Heroes board game. This has bonus elite infantry commanders. This is a Stug Pack, whatever that means. Um, so again, some more of those cards. And this one has four tanks and then some dice that come with this one. Again, these tanks are so cool and so detailed. Look at the detail on those. Like... It's blowing my mind how detailed these are. These are so nicely made. Good job, whatever company I said was the um, publisher for this because this is the quality of, of what I have seen so far is unlike anything I've seen before. Then we'll do this one. This is a Terrain Pack 1 Company of Heroes board game. Let's see what's in this one. So this is a terrain pack. So that's, okay, this is cool. So it has things you add to the terrain. So this is like little um, like weapons, flagpole looking things that you can like add onto your map. Like you can put these things out on your map, like, you know, to, to change it up. That's so cool. And these look like a ton of fun to paint. So Gibby, I wanna paint these for sure. Um, but yeah, there's a bunch of these in here. There's, what is there, one, two, nine of them. And then we have a bunch of these little flagpole doodaddy looking things. Again, fits perfectly in this box. Sorry if you're not seeing it. Um, and then we have some flags, I'm guessing. Oh my gosh, this is so exciting. I wanna play this just because of all the parts that are like physical, practical parts that you can like, it's not just a picture of it, it's, it's not just a token. Now it's a flag. Ah, that's so cool. Oh my gosh, I love that. So those are flag poles. And then we have a couple of bags of different colored flags. So how cool is that? Blue and red. And then these are like little uh, like roadblock looking things that you would put out. I don't know if you can see that. I'll put it on this. To like, I've seen these on like military bases or combat areas. I've never seen a combat area, but like in movies or I have been to military bases, I see these like at the barricade to like deter tanks or whatever. I don't know what it's called, but those are cool. So there's a little bag of those. Then it looks like a bag of like sandbags. Yeah, it looks like sandbags, like a stack of sandbags. I've seen these on base as well. The D and again, the quality of these pieces is just as amazing as the tanks. Um, so yeah, you can set those out on your map. I don't know if you just can set them wherever you want, but this is so cool to have this terrain pack that really makes the game like 3D and like pop out at you. This would get me into war games if all of them looked like this and had this much detail with quality and things to paint. Cause that's, that's the key. I want to paint one of these pink. Comment below that Gimpy should let me paint one of them. However I want to paint it, no questions asked. Comment below. And then some like barbed wire looking things. You can see this has like little spikes on it. I mean, the detail is insane. And again, this is for like setting it on your map to keep the bad guys from driving where you want them to drive. And then these little houses that look like this. Little buildings you can set out. That is so cool. I, this is my, I don't know if I like the tanks more or this pack more, but so far I'm impressed. If I was into war games at all, this would be top of my list to play just because of all of the cool, amazing, detailed pieces there are to paint. That's like, oh. Okay, Elite Commanders. This is Company of Heroes board game. I don't know what. Elite Commanders. Yeah, some more tanks. Cool. Oh, this is going to be so much fun to paint. I'm so excited. So look at all these. This one's cool. It's like a convertible tank. That's pretty cool, but probably ineffective or ineffective. But yeah, there's a bunch of more tanks in this pack. Um, this looks like supplies or something maybe that goes on to it or behind it or I don't know, but there's some of those. And then we have the pack of Elite Commander cards that go with these tanks. So yeah, that is in the Elite Commander's pack. These all look like they're just expansions, just little extra things you can get. I don't know if they come with it. I don't know if this was... Um, 
what's it called? This was a Kickstarter that he got and because he got it, he was able to get all this stuff with it or if he got sent this, I'm not sure. But there's a lot of add-ons to this and that's really cool and really making this game look like a ton of fun to play. And then the last box is this co-op expansion. So we have some more cubes or dice. These are, no, these are cubes because they're see-through it looks like. So we have some of those. We have an A1 action deck phase one and then AI. Oh, AI, AI instruction cards. Okay, because this is the solitaire part of it. So these are for the AI to play against you. And then this is the solo rule book. So you can play this solo. You can use this expansion pack to make it solo because it says on the side. Solo and co-op expansion. I didn't see that on the front, but it says it on the side. Um, and then here is 16 pages and here's what the solo rule book looks like. And then we have some more of these big giant tokens and a piece of foam. So this is to make your game solo. But it also has some type of a co-op expansion in it as well. So that is really cool. This game impressed me, not just with how much there is, because again, I'll show you how much there is that I just went through. But the quality of what's in all of these boxes is absolutely insane. So here's what we started with. We went through all of it. This is insane though. The, qu the quality of these pieces is like insane, but it looks like it's a board game version of a video game. So if you played Company of Heroes, because I'm guessing that's the name of the video game as well, then you're going to really like this. This brings that video game literally to life because you have all those 3D moving pieces that are so well made and so cool and so detailed. Like this one, I can't wait to see Gimpy get on the table and play but we have to paint it first. I mean, he could play it without painting it, but it's so much more fun once you get them painted. So comment down below that Gimpy should let me paint one of everything in this game, however I wanna paint it. Um, he doesn't get to have any say in it. Just say, Gimpy, let her paint one of each item however she wants to, and you can do the rest. And I can help him do the rest how he wants them painted, but I think I should get one of each in my way, right? Comment below if you agree. <laughs> Anyways, this was my more so unboxing of Company of Heroes, not so much my guessing of it. Um, but I hope you enjoyed it either way. Again, I should have said this at the beginning, I usually do. This is not an educational or informative video. This isn't meant to teach you how to play. This is literally just me basically at this point unboxing the games and kind of showing you all that comes with them before Gippy gets them out. So I hope you like it. If you did, give it a thumbs up, comment below. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys liked it and I will see you in another video really soon. Bye guys. That felt like it was so long, Gimpy. Please let me paint a building however I wanna paint it. Okay, thanks.